Hi, it's Steph, and today I'm going to prune and reshape some of my evergreens that have gotten a bit shaggy. This here is a blue cypress that I bought in a topiary form, and it's kind of grown out of its shape, so I'm going to go ahead and trim this up some. And I also have a gold mop false cypress that I had limbed up into a small tree that is also a little bit shaggy and needs some cleaning up. So we're going to do that today, and I'm going to show you how I do it. I've gathered the tools I need for the job. So I have these manual hedge shears that I can use. I also have my Felco pruners and I have this Corona saw that if I need to um, cut off any branches, I can use the saw to do that. And I also have my battery powered hedge trimmer that I might also need to shape the shrub some. So now that I've gathered everything, the only other thing that you could use if you were going to trim your um, shrubs is you can maybe put a tarp underneath to catch all of the clippings that are going to fall for easy cleanup. But I've done that before and I find for me that it gets a little bit cumbersome and I can be a little clumsy so sometimes I trip all over it. And so I'm going to skip the tarp and I'm just going to let the clippings fall. I'll clean up the bulk of it and then I'll leave the rest to kind of create some mulch under the shrub. And the only other thing um, is that typically you would prune these shrubs in the spring uh, so that they have all year to kind of uh, enjoy the nice weather and it won't be harmful to them. I'm doing this now in the fall which isn't ideal because if we do start getting some really cold nights it's possible that it will create some burn on my shrub but it's really misshapen at the moment and I really want to get it in a good shape going into the rest of the season. So I am doing this now in the fall, but do as I say and not as I do. If you do plan on pruning your shrubs now in the fall, just proceed with caution. Maybe don't cut as much as you would if say it was spring. Um, but if it's something that you need to do to your shrubs, you can always just wait until after the winter and do this in spring. So that is it. Let's go ahead and get going and get these things back in shape. I am done pruning this one here. It's a fine line. You could be tempted to keep going and going and going, but you kind of have to quit while you're ahead in a case like this because these evergreens get really woody inside. So if you cut too deep, you could expose some of the browning that happens on the inside naturally. So I took off as much of the new growth as I could to shape this shrub, but to still leave enough of a winter coat where it you know, will lessen the risk of it burning over the winter weather. And um, I think it looks nice. It's better. At least there's a delineation between the tiers now. And there are some bald spots. It's not perfect, but these will fill in with the spring growth. And then I can shape them again at that point if I want to. But for now, it has a lot more shape and I am happy with the results. So now I just have to clean this up and we'll move over to the gold mop. Here we have my gold mop false thread cypress. I think that's what it's called, but it's a gold mop cypress. And these you can find at any box store. And in fact, that's where I got this. I bought this probably at the Home Depot about nine years ago. And this shrub was really happy in this spot and it got really large, so large that it was actually overhanging the walkway and it was just getting too big for its space. And I was actually considering digging this back out, but I had a thought, I'm like, well, what if I limb it up and act like it's a little tree, kind of shape it like a little tree. Will it then maybe fit the space a little bit better? So one night, George and I kind of sat on the floor here and we just went at it. We took out all the woody growth in the middle and we exposed the bark to have a bunch of limbs so that now it looks like a multi-stem small tree. And what that did was 
it provided me more space to kind of plant along my border and around and underneath it. So essentially it bought me time with this shrub and I actually really liked the way it looked limbed up like a small tree, almost became like a topiary. But over time, again, it starts growing and looking really shaggy. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a haircut and trim it back some. This branch here is kind of crossing another and I assessed the shrub and I don't think I need it so we're going to take it out and that will remove some bulk. What I'm doing is I'm just trimming off some of the extra growth so that I can give it a more loose appearance. Right now it's looking really tight and like it has a little too much bulk. So uh, all I'm doing is really taking out the bulk, but it's important that when you're trimming these shrubs and you're trying to get a certain shape out of it, you just go really slowly. Um, just like a haircut, I know I referenced this as a haircut before, um, it's easier to just take out a little bit at a time because if you take out too much at once, there's no going back. It will grow back just like hair, but really um, you just want to take your time with it. So I did take out a large branch that's right there on the ground that exposed a little bit more of the trunk structure. And now what I'm doing is I'm just taking out some of this bulk, but I don't want to lose this wispy appearance of the new growth. The other tree that I just trimmed or the other shrub there um, had more of a structured look. I bought it that way as a topiary, where this one I'm kind of trimming as a tree myself. So I wanna keep this wispy look going. It's a little less structured than the last evergreen that I trimmed up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go nice and slow and just take off some of this bulk. And I'm done with the trim of this shrub. And I'm really happy with the way that it looks. So I'm gonna stop here. And I ended up just using my Felco pruners because I wanted to be very selective about what I cut out. I just wanted to take out some bulk and shape it a little. But I really like the wispy look and the organic shape that it takes on. So what I wanted to show you was that this shrub was really woody inside. So if this is something that you wanna do, expect that the inside of your shrub is gonna be really woody and initially it's going to take you a couple of hours to take away all of that growth. And this is something that takes time to shape this up like a tree and to limb it up. So just be patient with it, but it is actually really fun and kind of therapeutic to cut away all of that bulk and sort of see what you're left with at the end. So I'm really enjoying this like a little tree, but I will show you an example of one that I have in my backyard and what this originally started like. This golden mop cypress has been here for about three years, where the one in my front walkway was there for about nine years. So last year when I initially limbed up the one in the front walkway, because it was a much older shrub planted in that area for nine years, there was a lot more growth inside and a lot more woody growth that I had to trim out. So it took me a bit longer to get that shrub limbed up. But this summer, this one here that I've had, like I said, planted three years, was already starting to overhang my patio. So I started the same process on this gold mop cypress and I started to also limb this one up. You can see there that I took quite a few limbs off and I was able to select which ones I wanted to keep intact. So now I will continue to selectively prune this gold mop cypress and train it into a small tree similar to what I did in the front walkway. So I hope that I gave you an idea of something you can do in your own garden if you have some shrubs that maybe might be outgrowing their space. Before you decide to just dig it up, maybe you can give it a second life as a topiary or a small tree. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos. And we'll see you soon.